So one of the consistent problems that homeschool parents face is trying to find curriculum options that work for each child in each season. What worked for one kid might not work for another one. And writing is one of those topics that can be especially challenging because kids that have reading problems might struggle with writing or if children have problems with their eyesight or even um, occupational therapy related challenges just with the physical act of writing, writing can be a huge challenge. And because of that, it is often something that people keep putting aside, put it aside, put it aside. I have homeschooled for a very long time and I have run homeschool co-ops. I've been around lots of kids and writing is one of those persistent challenges that parents are always trying to navigate. And that is why I'm so excited to share with you today something that is brand new and it is a program called Write Stories by Scriptive. It is a brand new program. This wasn't around when my kids were little and it just came out. They've been testing it and now it's available for everyone to try it out and it is amazing. And what they have done is basically remove all the barriers that make writing difficult for children. So I'm excited to talk to you about it. I'm excited to show you a lesson of write stories and kind of do a lesson with you because words don't do it justice. I don't know about you, but when I learned to write, it was paper and pencil and often a blank white page. And there is just something intimidating about a blank white page on your desk. Um, and, and that's not this, this is so exciting and so fun. My, my son just couldn't stop laughing when he got to do his lessons. So come with me, let me show you write stories by scriptive. So recently our family had the chance to try out scriptive's new write stories, program. Their website looks just like this, and you can see that their goal is to empower young minds through writing and artistry. But what exactly does that mean? So come along with me. I want to take you inside to one of my kids' accounts, and I want to show you one of the things they can choose to work on. So you log in and you can log in as the parent or you can log in as a student. So here, if you come in, you can see the stories that he's worked on or you can go choose other stories. So let's just look at this as if it's a fresh new story. Parents can assign books or children can put, pick from stories. And many of these are just normal children's storybooks. But what makes them different is that the words have been removed. So let's take a look here. Here we've got Maple Syrup Farms. You open it up. It's got these beautiful pictures, right? Grandpa's maple syrup farm. And if you flip through here, you can see that here you've got this beautiful storybook. Ah, uh, no words, right? So this is where your child comes in. You're going to come in, choose the story, and then you're going to click on start writing. So and it's going to open up this box where you can choose to write once upon a time. You can type in there or the feature that I love and so many other parents love is that you can use the voice to text option. And this little icon here, it looks like a microphone on a stand if you 
kind of move the cursor over it, it shows you. Click to record your voice to write a story. And this one, you can use it to move the box around. Okay. So you can make the box bigger. You can do things like that. But the best part is really that you get to record it. And this is what my son loved. And he couldn't stop laughing because his silly story, you know, took a crazy tangent. And the book was about cats, but he had a unicorn in there. You know, kids are kids, but he was having so much fun. So to use this, you just click on that. And once upon a time, you, once upon a time, there were many little children. All right, see, you when you click on this, it will record your voice. Now there's a little bit of a delay. And as you can see, it does not necessarily capitalize everything or put punctuation. However, it gets the words on the page. And as a parent, then it's very easy to sit with your kids and practice capitalizing sentences and adding punctuation. This is something I still work on with my high school homeschooled students. I teach high school English and there are students that need to practice capitalization and punctuation. So this you know, if it types it without capitalization and punctuation, that's not the end of the world. It's very easy to go back and edit. So you can type as many page, as many words as you want. Your child can narrate them. And then you go on to the next page. And they just move through the whole storybook, adding their own words to the page. It's very simple. And then when they're done, it keeps all the stories they've narrated in one place so they can go back and they can, I don't know why it's not loading, this icon's not loading here. Um, they can go and they can see all the stories they've worked on. Here's the library. more books to choose from. There's pages and pages of books here, several different pages. Most of these books are appropriate for like second to sixth grade, but really you could use them with younger kids if a parent was there to help. I would say that you need kids to be able to speak clearly in order to use this well. Um, or at least speak slowly. <laughs> if you've ever used voice to text, sometimes there's a little bit of a learning curve with that, but we had a great time doing it, uh, my son and I, and he was laughing through it. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside because it's pretty simple. I mean, that's the funny thing about it is it really is very simple and easy to use. Okay. So that's it. Your child logs in, they choose a story or you choose them, choose one for them. And then they can either type their words on the page or you can let them use voice to text and they can simply narrate the story page after page. And when their story's all done, you can sit down with them and you can go through a very simple editing process, capitalization, punctuation, you know, basic things. The words are on the page and that is the biggest challenge for children, actually for adults too, actually getting the words on the page. The funny thing is um, sometimes when I write a blog post, I will literally go for a walk in the back and I will narrate my thoughts into my phone. And then I will take that voice to text and I'll clean it all up and I'll use it to write something else. But it's just getting a bunch of words on the page. And that is what Write Stories has done for children. It has removed all the normal barriers. If they have reading problems, it doesn't matter. They can still write beautiful stories. 
if they have like physical writing problems, like they can't hold a pencil or they can't make their letters correctly, it doesn't matter. If they can't type, it doesn't matter. This is voice to text. So children can speak and their words go on the page. And now they've created something beautiful and fun and interesting. And it's removed all those normal barriers that exist that prevent children from writing kind of creative stories to begin with. So if you have a kid that is creative and fun, or you know they have amazing stories in their head, but they just hate writing, I want to encourage you to try out uh, Scriptive's Write Stories. Simple, easy, it's inexpensive. It's got a seven-day guarantee. So if you try it and you don't like it, just send them an email and they'll refund you. It's no problem, but it's not expensive to even try. So I want to encourage you to give it a shot. Go look at it and just see what you think. I thought it was really fun. I've never seen anything like it before and my son loved it. All right. Well, I hope to see you again next time and I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe.